what's up guys welcome back to lion mac tv mac here with another exciting delighting and much interesting video here on the channel this one is from peter ob at the um, church of nigeria saint matthias gudu yes he arrived there earlier today we all know that so long as he's in nigeria a lot of churches continue to invite him and you know get his sermon someone said in the comment section today that peter b is someone who he will never get tired he would he will always burn her daughter to watch and she will never get tired and that that statement is actually true even myself i do so and that's why i always share this content with you guys here so if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe drop a comment in the comment section because you know we value your thoughts and your comment here a lot enjoy the video have a blessed evening we thank prince adebayo may i now invite Sir Gregory Peter will be of the Labour Party. Your Grace, let me very respectfully stand on all of you and existing protocols that have been established. And thank you most sincerely for the invitation to be part of this. For me, issue of credible election, especially as we approach 2023, is very critical. If we get it wrong in 2023, I'm afraid you might not be meeting like this a few years after. Because today, our country has collapsed. It's very simple. So we must get it right. What we are suffering today is cumulative effect of leadership failure over the years. And the church can no longer stay aside or think that we can be involved. The people that are suffering are your people. Those who can eat in all parts of Nigeria are your people. Those that are being kidnapped, killed are your people. So you cannot stand and wait until it collapses. Those children who are supposed to be in university are not in school for seven months are children of the church. And nobody cares about them. Those people who will keep quiet and they're stealing our oil. Are those that are elected? Every day you hear people are stealing oil. Oil is being stolen by people in government. Nobody, oil is not sweet you put in your pocket. For you to steal oil, a ship has to come to your territorial waters. And that must be approved by Navy. So it's not you. Any, none of you can steal oil. Nobody here can steal oil. Your grace, you can't steal oil. Because you have to have a ship. Every ship is registered and everybody knows where the ship is going. And you have to have approval. So the only people who can steal oil are people in power. This agreement that is keeping our school closed, your grace was signed in 2009. And the content, monetary content of it is about 1.2, 1.3 trillion. Out of which Jonathan paid 200. The rest is spent. Just to show you why I used oil, in one month, the money they, of oil they stole can pay for this. Our approval to oil is 1.8 trillion. So 1.8 million barrels a day. 1.8 million barrels. Nigeria's approval. But a biopic, we are the only people. In 2000, in July 2022, throughout the month of July, our production was 1,083,000. So every day, we are losing 717,000. If you multiply by 31 days, it's 22 million 
227. That's what we lost. If you multiply by how much they sold oil in that month, average 110, is 2 billion 445 million dollars. If you use the average rate of 550 to multiply it, it's 1 trillion 344 billion 750 million naira. That is far more than as is action one month stealing. You must get involved. We can no longer continue this way. If we continue, we we'll consume everybody. I spoke to European Union this morning, all the ambassadors, and I asked them, stop giving us aid. We don't need aid. We need leadership. Help us to get leaders who can serve this country. We do not require their aid. And I asked him a question. I asked the, the ambassador of Netherlands. I said, your country is only 33, my north water is only 33,000 square kilometers. And your export last year of agricultural product is $120 billion. Our state, Niger State, is 76.3 thousand square kilometers, two and a half times Netherlands. They can't feed themselves. They cannot feed Nigeria. They have not exported anything because they are waiting to share three billion from Niger Delta every month. When if they have just exported one percent of what Netherlands exported, when they have two and a half times their, they will earn 1.2 billion dollars. If you multiply it, it's about 750 billion. It's five times their budget. But they are waiting for 3 billion. We cannot wait. I saw the governor of Taraba and I went to visit Dan Juma, who is also your church member. And I said to him, I'm from Taraba. Taraba is 54.6 thousand square kilometers. Belgium is 30.9 square kilometers. Israel is 22. So Taraba is bigger than Belgium and Israel put together. And Israel alone export last year is 59.8 billion dollars. It's about to wise the export of Nigeria. 200 million people living on almost 1 million square kilometers doing nothing. We want to be productive. Our children, the youth are energetic. All they want is somebody to support them to prove who they are all these children that are accused of yahoo yahoo is the same talent in their heart and we are directed and they became ict managers please i'm begging you next year election should not be based on ethnicity on religion on connection or my turn, or any form of bias. We don't need it. And let anybody who said he wants to be, anybody who says he wants to serve, please let him not speak to you through spokesperson. Let him come and tell you what he's going to do. You take note of it. Because when he goes into office, he'll start telling you what I saw when I got in. Or what I didn't see. All of us, you see what is bad now. So when we hire the person, the job of a leader is to find solution, to prefer solution, and not to give us excuse. We are tired of excuse. Anything any of us wants to see, let him see it now. So when he goes, it is solving the solution. And after election, please, do not go away. Part of our problem is that after election, you go away, 
and His Excellency reverses the vehicle, which you all agreed is going north to south, and nobody is telling him, no, you, this is not what we agreed. This time around, whoever is going to be there will have an agreement. Your Grace, come out with a charter of demand. And let whoever is going to be there, you demand this is what you want. You don't want your children to be at home. You don't want this. UNESCO has just said that 20 million Nigerian people out of school. Which country? And we are normal. And we are saying the church should not be involved. In fact, the church should be at the forefront. And let the politicians follow them. <laughs> Finally, in conclusion, I'm sure we'll have time one day to discuss this further. Next year's election must be based on character we can trust with the proofing record of the past. It must be by competence. It must be by capacity and commitment. This is a job that requires physical and mental energy. And we must get it right. And that is what we are asking. The church must be at the forefront. Our children cannot continue like this. There is no offense they committed by being Nigerians. Nigerians are the best you can get in the world. And we have the energy to change this world. All we lack is that we have criminals who have hijacked this country, sealing everything away, and we are keeping quiet. Please, the church, wake up. Take back your country. God bless you. Hello? Hello? One thing is certain. One thing is certain. That thing which is certain is this. When God gave me my ears, he did not authorize me to use it to listen for another person. So he gave us ears. And since we have ears, I am not going to summarize it.